Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, my wee fruit scones. Come on, let's get busy. What's Granny Murray got in our shelves today? We build a tower that goes all the way up to Granny Murray's ceiling. Mm. Can't see. <laughs> right, you guys keep building and see if you can get it right to the ceiling. <gasps> well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Kai with Bobby. Bobby, hello. <laughs> and Kai, what pleasure. Come away through. In we come. <laughs> We were building a tower and it was getting too high. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Kai's in a building and making things new today, aren't you? Oh, that's good. That's that. Yes. Why don't we? That's a brilliant idea, Ellie. Why don't we dress Claude up as a builder? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I can hear the works hooter just now. Hey, I think that it's time that the uh, builders had a tea break. Oh, Ellie Murray. me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's easy. <laughs> Here's your tea, Builder Granny. Oh, that's a lovely brew, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, me and Kai saw loads of building sites on the way to nursery today. So, I've got in this really cool tool set. Ooh. I've been lugging it around all day and it weighs a ton. Well, it probably feels heavy if you've been carrying it about all day. But really, some things feel bigger than they are. Hmm, I suppose. But check it out! <gasps> Look, it's got all these different tools. And the best bit, it's even got its own drill. I think you're going to be in for a very noisy evening, Granny Murray. Oh, that's OK, as long as he doesn't take my flat to bits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, if he does, it looks like Claude could always put it back together again. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Excuse me, Claudia. <laughs> Oh, Claude, I've got a few jobs around the house that you could do dressed like that. Me too. Oh, well, I'd best be off to get on with my own job. Wait, Mummy, here. Oh, a builder's hat. Wear it when you're cleaning the buses. Well, I don't think that the inspector will like that, Kai. But I'll tell you what, I'll wear it when I'm having my tea break, OK? okay. <laughs> Give us a kiss. Mm. Oh, I'll see well you in the morning. Done. Have fun. Come on. Now remember, some things feel bigger than they are. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Yeah, me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Bobby? Make sure she goes the right way to work. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit late today. How can I get to work quickly? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a bus. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the bus lanes. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Whining, 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 drive the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets. I'm squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. But before I do anything, I need to put on my work clothes. I'm ready to go. Long the bridges falling down, falling down, falling down. Long the bridges falling down. Can I borrow a spanner, Bobby? Oh, hi, Tina. What's up? I've got a rattle under my taxi, so I need a spanner to fix it. Oh, well, I don't really have much to do with the tools round here, but there's a toolbox there. Have a look. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I'll try a couple of these spanners. Um, you will bring those back, won't you? Only these tools belong to the bus company and I'm not sure that the inspector would like people just borrowing them. This is an emergency, Bobby. I've got a rattling taxi. Now bring them straight back. Oh, well, if that's the case, then I'm sure it'll be OK. <laughs> mm -hmm. These didn't fit. 
I'll try some more. Not right. is an adjustable spanner. Oh, this'll do the job, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Look at all of these tools. Better get this lot cleaned up before a bus drives over them and damages its tyres. I don't know. This is worse than clearing up after Kai. Oh, I wonder what he's up to. I love to skip in River Just tighten this nut. That's sweet. Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> Me too. Mummy, Murray. Yes, my angel. That red thing will be off in no time. Oh, could you do that for Granny Murray, darling? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't know what we're building, but it certainly is good fun. <gasps> Your mum picked a great present, didn't she? What are you doing now, Mummy? Onwards and upwards. There you go, Bobby. I told you I'd bring your spanner back. Oh, thanks, Tina. Um, did you manage to fix the rattle under your taxi? Oh, yes. All mended, thank goodness. <laughs> your inspector gave me a hand, actually. He's a nice man. And he's ever so good with a the spanner. <laughs> there you go. I'll be seeing you, Bobby. <laughs> Ta-ra, Tina. Right, time for me to get on with some hard work and get these buses looking spick and span. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the buses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Dazzle the day away Swinging to the city looking pretty and radiant The hot cabs gleam, the paintwork shines A river sea double decker looks so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving she will get you there This bus is stopping from picking up and putting down This bus is shining, it's the talk of the town Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead That's another one clean! I think I need a cuppa Ta-da! <laughs> Hello, Bobby. <laughs> Hello, Rudy. Hi, Louie. We've brought you something. Oh, well, it's for Kai, really. A present. Well, because you remembered how he likes to build things. And make things. And, well, we had all of these big wooden fruit boxes left at the market store. So we thought about Kai. And now we might like to make something from them. Exactly. Oh, that's really kind. But what kind of things could Kai make out of wooden fruit boxes? Mm. Uh... Ooh. Um... Oh, well, first, he could break them up into planks. Yeah. Hmm, that sounds a little bit dangerous for Kai. Oh, and that sounds like my next bus coming in to get cleaned. Oh, and that sounds like wooden fruit boxes being run over by a bus. Whoops, back in a tick. Hey, Bobby, maybe Kai won't have to break them up into planks after all. There you go, Bobby. Perfect for Kai to make something <laughs> out of. Oh, well, that's a stroke of luck. These are great as long as I make sure that there's no nails sticking out of them first. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you're going to have loads of fun building things out of this, aren't you, Kai? <laughs> My little builder. Oh, are you nice 
nice and cosy, Kai? Yeah. <laughs> Which storybook would you like? All of them. All of them? <laughs> we'll be here forever if I read all of them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you want to build a house with them, not read them. <laughs> well, I suppose Mum won't mind for one night. Come on then. Let's get building. Maybe it's an earthquake. Oh, I'm too scared to move. What is going on? Where did the time go? At five o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's house. The children were building towers out of building blocks and dressed up Claude as a builder. I told Granny Murray that Kai loved watching the building sites in River Sea Fingal and showed her the new tool set I'd bought for him. At six o'clock, I got to work. Tina rushed in to borrow a spanner because she needed to fix a rattle under her taxi. She dropped spanners all over the bus depot. What a mess! But eventually she found the right spanner and mended her rattle. At eight o'clock, Rudy and Louie brought round some wooden fruit boxes from the market. They thought Kai could use them to build things. Then we heard a bus arrive for cleaning and it ran over the wooden boxes. Crunch! But it meant the boxes were much better for Kai to use for building. At nine o'clock, I climbed onto the top deck of a bus to start cleaning it. But I heard an awful hissing noise. Then the bus shook and it felt like it was going to fall over. Maybe it's an earthquake. Now remember, some things feel bigger than they are. Some things feel bigger than they are. Hmm. Granny Murray is right. When the bus tilted, I was scared because it felt like an earthquake, but now I don't think that that's true. Maybe the bus has just got a flat tyre because it ran over one of Rudy's wooden fruit boxes. Yes! It's just a flat tyre. So now all we have to do is to fix it. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure. She will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. Bus has got a new wheel. Cool, I can't believe how fast your team of mechanics can work. And is that wheel safe now? Yes, we've replaced everything. Won't be needing these anymore. Oh, thanks. Oh, cool. <laughs> these are the old nuts which kept the old wheel on. Kai's gonna love these. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see you later on, Kai. We're gonna do some brilliant building together. <laughs> Fast asleep, my darling. But you'll sleep better if we take away this house of books you've built. That's better. <sighs> night, night, my wee builder. Are you dreaming of Mum? She'll be here in the morning to pick you up. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. <laughs> Your mum's here, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hello, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thank you. Bye-bye, my treasure. Oh, and thanks a bunch from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Some things feel bigger than they are. <laughs> it saved the day.
It never did. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Come on, Kelly, let's go. That's That's the week. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Right, come on, Kai. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a builder because the children and I were building big towers with building blocks and we all wore our hard hats like proper builders do. Bobby showed me Kai's new tool set. It was brilliant! Later, Kai and I used the tool set to put together some nuts and bolts. All the tools were really useful. And even when Kai went to bed, he was thinking about building things, like a storybook house. But I had to take down the book house when Kai was asleep, in case he didn't know where he was when he woke up and got a fright. Bobby had a fright when she was at work, but she discovered some things feel bigger than they really are. Everything worked out in the end. Oh, <laughs> turn the spanner. And it's done. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs> Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, We've got Beth and we've got Emma. But don't just sit there, my puppets. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Cushions. Well done, girls. One for Beth and one for Emma. But you sit down here. Sands of the sea, bobbing up and down like this. Sailing the ocean, bobbing up and down like this. They may build the ships, my lad, bobbing up and down like this. But you can't beat the boys of the old brigade, bobbing up and down like this. Hey, well done, that was good, wasn't it? Now, we've got Beth and we've got Emma, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh yes, it's Lisa with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. Oh, and Lisa. Come on, we three. Hi, everyone. Here we are. Oh, my. Oh, what a lot of bobbers. <laughs> but now you're here, Lisa. We'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as? Mr. Cushion! Oh, not like Raymond's Mr. Cushion. Oh, the very one. I got the idea when I saw Raymond as Mr. Cushion at Lisa's nursery. Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> Come on, let's bob over to the cheers. Oh. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must be awful proud of Raymond doing all these characters to make the children laugh. Trouble is, Raymond's got his proper job on the train and I've got my proper job driving the taxi. It doesn't leave us much time. Well, I mean, try to order. Today, for example, Raymond will be rushing to and fro between the station and the taxi garage between shifts. Well, why don't you meet one? Also that Mickey John can make a video of him performing as Mr Cushion, especially if the children at the nursery. Why don't busy, you and busy, Raymond... Busy, busy, oh. I mean, as soon as they... Oh, can, stop, then... Tina, stop! Stop! I can't stop. There is so much to do. Well, sometimes you just need to stop and listen. Listen? Well, I would if I had the time. Well... You've got time for a wee look at Claude, haven't you? <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, Claude, you make a Mom, great Mr Mom, Cushions. Mom. <laughs> this is for you. Oh, what is it, Lisa? Oh, look, Granny Murray. Oh. It's a picture of Raymond as Mr Cushions. <laughs> oh, lovely. You have a good day with Granny Murray. <laughs> OK, I'll see you later. Come on, Flower Bye. Bye-bye. Now remember, sometimes you just need to stop 
and listen. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. Could you tell me the fastest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter under she's no squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speak to work. Phew! Well, what now? Of course! I have to get ready for work. <laughs> and ready to go. Wait! Oh, hello, Mickey John. Is everything OK? Did Raymond tell you I was coming here at 3 o'clock to film a video for the nursery school children? Oh, yes, but... Can you show me the costume that Raymond wears as Mr Cushion? Well, if you say so. <laughs> I need to see it for framing, background, lighting, that sort of thing. There you go. One Mr. Cushion costume. Mm, interesting. Now, where shall we film this video? Where do you think Mr. Cushion would look most fabby as he performs for the nation? Any ideas? Listen, mate, you can shoot it wherever you like. I'm off now. I'm late for work. I've got it. We'll film it in your taxi and we'll call it Mr. Cushion catches a cab. But hold on, hold on. Now, remember, you have to be back here before three o'clock for rehearsals. But Mickey John, it's all... Oh, well. At least I'll get to spend some time with my Raymond. Or should I say, my Mr. Cushion. I wonder how my little Cushion's doing. A perfect sandcastle. Oh, now it's got a flag. <laughs> Good girl. Right, I think I'll get a wee seat. Here we are. Ah. Oh, oh no! Oh, Lisa will have to build another one. And there was me telling your mum she wasn't listening. I love you, Mummy. Well, I've got so much to do today. I'd better get down to some hard work. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep on traveling, and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my brain. Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. Look, 
Bang on time. <laughs> there you are, Tina. <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, well, Ricky John said three o'clock. Yeah, but I'm on my break from school. I don't have much time. Well, don't I even get a kiss? Oh, not you, Mickey John. Raymond. <laughs> ah, ah, lovely. Right, I'll uh, just get the camera in focus. And action. Sons of the sea, bobbing up and down like this. No, 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 no. Cut, cut. What was wrong with that? It needs something, something more, more, more. And more bounce. Have you directed a film before, Tina? <laughs> OK, Raymond, once more, and this time, give it a lot more bounce. Sons of the sea, bobbing up and down like this. Sailing the ocean, bobbing up and down like this. They build the ships, you boys, bobbing up and down like this. But you can't beat the boys off the old monkey, bobbing up and down like this. <laughs> oh, Lisa, if only you could see your dad right now. I love to skip in River Sea Dingle, River Sea Dingle, that's for me. Granny Mother. Come on, my darling, you're slow today. Keep up, Angel. What's wrong, darling? Are you limping? Have you got something in your shoe? Right, hold that. Let's see. Oh, no, look. Your shoe's all full of sand from the sand pit. You should have told me, Angel. There you are, my darling. Your mum wouldn't want you bringing all that sand into the house. Hey, that's a wrap. Oh, is that the film finished? Yep, all done. Thanks for lending us your taxi, Tina. Oh, and I better go off to work. Oh, <laughs> bye, love. Oh, no. The train will be leaving any moment. Oops. I better be getting back to school. Bye, Tina. Bye. Oh. Hey, watch out. <laughs> Mickey John seems in a hurry. Oh, yes. It's been all go round here. Oh, I see. Um, I was hoping you'd give me a ride to the shops. Yeah, sure. Hop in. Great. Ow! Oh! Oh! Oh, what's up? Oh, I've got sore bottom. Oh, well, maybe you should see a doctor. <laughs> oh, you are a doctor. <laughs> uh, let's go. No, no, I can't go with you, Tina. Oh, I'll get to the shops by myself. But do you know what? You should get this taxi seen to. It's not fit to ride in. Oh. Well, she's gone. What's going on? I've had a very, very busy day. And then one minute Dr. Juno wants to lift, and the next she didn't. Well, what have I done wrong? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's, and the children dressed Claude as Mr. Cushion, one of the characters that Raymond performs. I told her that Raymond and I were so busy with our work and our shows that we hardly ever saw each other. At nine o'clock, I got to the garage, ready for work. Mickey John came round to get ready to make a video of Raymond dressed as Mr Cushion. Mickey John said he wanted to make the video in the back of my taxi. From 10 o'clock until 2 o'clock, I was busy working in my taxi. At 3 o'clock, I got back to the garage, ready to help Mickey John make his video of Mr Cushion. Raymond put on the costume and then bobbed up and down in the back of my taxi singing a song. Mickey John made him do it again. Raymond was bouncing on the back seat like crazy. At four o'clock, they rushed off and Dr Juno asked me to drive her to the shops. But when she got in the back seat, she said her bottom was sore and she jumped straight back out. She didn't want to lift in my taxi after all. Why not? Now remember, sometimes you just need to stop and listen. Sometimes you just need to stop and listen. Well, maybe I should have listened to what Dr Juno was telling me. Now, what was it she said again? Your taxi's not fit to ride in. <gasps> no wonder Dr Juno hurt her bottom. The springs are all sticking out of the seat. It must have happened while Raymond was bouncing up and down. 
I'll have to get that back seat fixed. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. She's going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish the job before I finish the song. Oh! Oh, Dr. Juno! Oh, let me give you a lift home with all your shopping. Well, I don't want a sore bottom again. Oh, don't worry. I listened to what you said and I fixed the seat. Look! <clears throat> No more springs sticking through, and I put cushions to sit on for extra comfort. Nothing's too good for my customers. Oh, yes. The seat does look pretty comfy, I must say. Well, hop in. This ride's on the house. Oh. I can't wait to show my new comfy back seat to Lisa. Come on, my darling, eat your tea. Mum's coming to pick you up soon. <laughs> Tina! <laughs> Come away in. Your mum's here, Lisa. Oh, hello, Lisa. Hello, Mummy. Oh, <laughs> you going to say thank you to Granny Mummy? <laughs> thank you. Oh, come here, big squeezy cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes you just need to stop and listen. It saved the day. Oh, I'm pleased. Right, come on, you two. Let's get you home. <laughs> come on, Lisa. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Mr. Cushion because Tina told me that Raymond was going to be performing as Mr Cushion. Lisa built a brilliant sandcastle. She tried to tell me to be careful, but I wasn't listening and I squashed it flat. On the way home, Lisa tried to tell me she had something in her shoe. At last, I paid attention and we found lots of sand from the sand pit. When we got home, Lisa played on the keyboard very loudly. She couldn't hear what I was saying, so I tickled her to get her attention. Later, Tina told me that she remembered to stop and listen. Thank goodness she did, otherwise her taxi seat would still be broken and she'd have no passengers. <sighs> Bobbing up and down like this. <laughs> I do like a good bounce now and then. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. <coughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today. Well, I've got Megan and I've got Sean. But don't just sit there, fruit tubes. Come on, on your feet. We're going to play a game of charades. I know what a policeman. Yes. <laughs> a train driver. <gasps> with a big, big steering wheel, a bus driver. That was brilliant. Well, I've got Megan and I've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. 
Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Rudy <laughs> with Jack. Hello there, Rudy. Hi, Hi Granny Murray. Hello there, and Jack. Well done. <laughs> Oh, Jack. We're miming different jobs that you might see people doing in the city. Oh, wow, it sounds great. <laughs> but now Jack's here, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a window cleaner and we can squidge your way over to the tubes. <laughs> all right, you are, Granny Murray. <laughs> I'll do the hair, Matt. Oh. <laughs> So, you're a fan of the city then, Granny Murray? Oh yes, there's always something going on in a city, day or night. There's all the underground trains rattling below your feet. <laughs> and the big tall buildings that soar straight into the sky. Claude would get a wee bit dizzy trying to clean some of those windows. Oh, and the city traffic. The people. The shops. The noise. Oh, I love it all. <laughs> oh, you just never know what's going to happen next in the city. You've got to remain on your toes at all times, ready to deal with the unexpected. Well, once when I worked in Nicholson's department store, I turned out for work one morning and they were repairing the road right outside my display window. So, I had the idea to dress the dummies in the shop window up as workmen. <laughs> <laughs> so there were workmen in the shop window and outside. <laughs> wow, what a clever idea. Well, when the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. That's what I think. <laughs> oh, will you look at Claude? He's ready to go cleaning some windows. Oh, and I'd best be off to work too. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Claude, <laughs> you look every inch the window cleaner. Oh, has he got his squeegee? Oh, he certainly has. <laughs> The window cleaner. For me, my very own squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's no windows on my market stall, but you never know when the unexpected might happen, eh? <laughs> very true, Rudy. Right, you give me a cuddle. Go on. Oh. Ah, behave yourself. See you later, kids. Come on, Rudy. <laughs> now remember, when the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today. I'm walking my shoes through the city views. I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms. I get in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know, but can you tell me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, bag. Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now what? Ah, yeah, I need to put on my work clothes. <laughs> All dressed? I'm ready to go. <laughs> Morning, Rudy. How are your bananas today? <laughs> All the better for seeing you, Mickey John. How many would you like? Well, uh, I think one will keep my energy levels up for the day, thanks. Oh, OK, then. There you go. And it's on the house. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. So, you're looking after Rebecca today. <laughs> I'd imagine you'd need all your energy for that. No, I'm teaching. Actually, I'm taking some of my class on a field trip. <gasps> wow! Where to? The city centre. I thought it'd be fun for them to experience the sights of a busy city day. There's certainly lots to do and see in the city. Oh, I'd imagine there is. And speaking of imagination, just think of all the things in the city you can't see, like under our feet. Huh? Oh, 
What do you mean? Well, think about it. Under our feet, under the pavement, are miles and miles of pipe and wire, bringing gas and electricity and clean water to our homes and offices. And every time you flush the toilet, it goes whoosh, right under our feet. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, I wish I was coming on your city trip, Mickey John. It sounds loads of fun. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll pop by with my class and we'll say hi. Oh, right, and I'd better make sure my windows are clean if I'm going to have visitors. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye. <laughs> Rudy, huh? you missed the spot. Ah, you cheeky monkey. <laughs> oh, I wonder how Jack is. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, these bin lorries certainly are noisy, aren't they? Oh, they're like a big rumble, isn't it? It is, Jack. Look at the big claw. See all the rubbish getting poured in? Oh, it's a bit stinky too. Ah. Oh, what a noise. What are you doing in the market, Daddy? <laughs> I was on my way to work and I drilled like this. <laughs> drilled like this. I rode like this, I was on my way to work and I drove like this all day long. I was on my way to work and I drove like this, drove like this, drove like this. I was on my way to work and I drove like this all day long. I was on my way to work and I tickled like this, tickled like this, tickled like this. I was on my way to work and I tickled like this all day long. <laughs> Oh, you're a great sport, Rudy. Yeah, I'd have to be with two clowns like you about. Oh, Rudy, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, right, back to work. And dooby dooby doo, I make it look easy. What I dooby dooby doo, and what I do is sell to you and you and you all of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye What I do for you as I by and by While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view the market, the market, what a wonderful place The hub of the people, the smiles on each face The market, the market, come look around The hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling Cheap or dear The market, the market I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Hello, Rudy. I told you I'd be back with the children. Oh, <laughs> so you did, Mickey John. Hello, kids. Um, help yourselves to an apple on the house. Here, Rudy. What do you reckon this is? Oh, um... Oh, oh, uh, don't tell me. It's um, an elephant's pea shooter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's something much more useful than that. It's called a listening probe. It helps people to listen for water under the ground. Oh. Try it. <laughs> Other way, Rudy. Silly me. Uh, uh. Oh, wow. Hey, Mickey John, you can hear water under the ground. <gasps> you have a go. All right. Okay. Whoa. I can hear it too. There must be a big water main running right under your market stall. Oh dear, a puddle. I think your pipe must have sprung a leak. Is that bad? Well, it's not good. Not to worry. I'll go back to the school bus, get my mobile phone and phone the water board from there. I'm sure they'll send someone out to repair the leak right away. Oh, brilliant. How exciting. There's a leak living under my stall. <laughs> hey, perhaps Jack Squeegee will come in handy after all. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea 
Oh, that's for me. Oh, will you look at that? <laughs> Whoever would have thought washing windows could be so exciting? Hello there. <laughs> Watch you don't drop your clothes. <laughs> Give them a wave, boys. Do you see them? Look. Hello. Oh, my goodness, that looks dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. Daddy? Good news, Rudy! The water board are on their way. And first, they want us to try and find the spot where we think the water's coming from. Oh, all right. Oh, any sign? Yeah, that sounds like the spot. Oh, oh you certainly hit the spot, all right, Mickey John. I, I mean, uh, we have to be getting along. Uh, the children's parents will be waiting. Sorry, Rudy, we've got to go back to but, school. But, but, Mickey John, what about my stool? My leaks are getting leaked on. Sorry, Rudy, bye-bye. Ah! Oh, great. I've been working hard all day and suddenly, whoosh, a burst water main drenches everything. Oh, it hasn't been five minutes since Mickey John turned up with his elephant's pea shooter and now look. Oh. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I took Jack to Granny Murray's house. The children were playing charades. Jack set to work, helping them dress Claude up as a window cleaner. At eight o'clock, Mickey John arrived and told me all about his class field trip he was taking to the city. At nine o'clock, Louie and Chuck unexpectedly appeared and clowned around, as they often do when I want to get down to some work. At one o'clock, Mickey John and the children arrived. They brought a long funnel with them which helps you listen for water trickling through the water pipes below the ground. Mickey John found more than a trickle. He found a burst water made under my stall. What am I going to do? Now remember, when the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. When the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. Of course, I've got to do the unexpected and move my market stall away from the market before it gets washed away. Tina and her taxi can help. They have to. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will we know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Come on, folks, roll up, roll up. Everyone as fresh as the last. Get your lovely fruit and vegetables here. Roll up, roll up, get your taxi home here. <laughs> and while you're about it, buy a lovely apple. It'll help to make the journey crisp. <gasps> Looks like your day wasn't a total washout after all, Rudy. <laughs> you can say that again, Tina. Hurry back. <laughs> oh, I hope you're having an exciting time like me, Jack. <laughs> You're working hard today. What have you found in your hole, Mr Workman? I found a teddy bear. A teddy? Just what I was looking for. <laughs> and a, a long claw. Brilliant! And a bucket. Oh, you are fantastic, Mr Digger. <laughs> well, I think you better fill in your hole because your dad will be coming to pick you up soon. I want to be with you, Daddy. Someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Ready? Hey, give us a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> oh, and thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. When the unexpected happens, do the unexpected. And it saved the day. <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. 
away. Me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. But what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a window cleaner from the city because we were going to see the different jobs that people do around the city. We walked around and watched the busy refuse collectors emptying the bins. We saw window cleaners too. Oh, they were so brave, perched high outside the windows of a huge office block. Jack and I were glad to keep our feet on solid ground. Oh, or rather under it in Jack's case when he was digging for teddy bears in my garden. Mickey John dug up some trouble for poor Rudy when he unexpectedly burst a water main under his stall. Oh, still, Rudy had a surprise up his sleeve to deal with the problem. And nobody expected him to do that. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee puppets. Come on, let's get busy. Pedals! Let's have a wee look at these. They're beautiful. Feel how cold and soft they are. We're going to make wee pebble pets. It's a wee tongue twister, isn't it? Can you see that, Megan? A perfect pebble pet. Yellow hair. Yellow hair? <laughs> Do you like them? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson, the Dr. Juno. Hello there, Dr. Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and see Granny. That's the way. Come and say hello to Samson, everyone. Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, gentle now. We've been painting some pebble pets. Oh, that's brilliant, Granny Murray. Oh, yes. I collected the pebbles from the beach. That gives me an idea. Why don't you two dress Claude up as a beachcomber? It's your basket, Samson. Good boy. And we can pebble dash our way over to the chairs. <laughs> oh, crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> oh, just a thought, Granny Murray. You should be careful with little pebbles and children. They could easily swallow them. Oh, don't worry. I only let them play with big pebbles and I'm always reminding them not to put anything in their mouth. Oh, good. You can never be too careful. No, my friend Flory looks after a wee girl called Trudy. She puts everything in her mouth one day Laurie had to go to the toilet too. As we all do. So what, she left Trudy alone? She was fine, she was playing on the floor with a puzzle. Anyway, when Florrie came back into the room, she noticed that something was missing. What? A goldfish from the bowl. She thought that Trudy had swallowed it. Oh no! Yes, Florrie got herself in a right flap, going onto the internet and looking up first aid books, trying to see what to do. And the more upset Florrie got, well, Trudy started to get upset. And when Trudy got upset, Flory got even more upset. <gasps> so what happened? The goldfish swam out from behind a pebble. Trudy hadn't swallowed it. So Flory had been panicking for nothing. <laughs> That's oh. right. So it just goes to show other people's upsets can upset you too. Oh. Oh, well, Claude won't upset anyone dressed like that. <laughs> 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 look at this. Oh, you look just right for a spot of beach combing, Claude. Hey, I do you know. Oh, thank mm. you. It's gorgeous. That's a wee pebble pet for you, honey pie. Oh, it's brilliant. It reminds me of my own little pet. <coughs> oh, bye, Samson. Be good for Granny Murray. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> now remember, other people's upsets can upset you too. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in the need.
even in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a trip way. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lines. Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points. Whining, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaky, 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 slows us down. Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street. That's squeaky, squeaky to a stop. I'm in the need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry to get changed. All dressed and ready to go. Oh. My pebble pet will keep me company today. Morning, Dr. Juno. Can you come and take a look at the hazards in the home charts, please? Yes, of course, Miss Hendry. You have to spot all the dangerous things that can happen in the kitchen. Oh, I see. And these are the forms to fill in with your answers? Mm -hmm. So how many dangerous can you spot? Well, the hot saucepan on the cooker, mm -hmm. the bucket of water on the floor, mm -hmm. the wire from the iron, the knives on the counter. Oh, and the dog bowl on the floor. You might trip over that. Well done. Five out of five. You're the first person so far to spot the dog bowl hazard. Oh, that's because I've got a dog of my own. <laughs> I wonder how Samson's doing right now. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Right. One across, an animal that barks, three letters. <laughs> What's that funny noise, Granny Muddy? Oh, Samson! <gasps> oh no, I hope you haven't swallowed a pebble. What would Dr. Juno do? <gasps> Dr. Juno, you have a patient in the examination room. Hello, Tia. What's happened to you? I burnt my hand under hot water. I hope we're not making a fuss about nothing. Oh, not at all. That's what I'm here for. Let's take a look. Hmm. Well, it's not too bad. You're very lucky. Did you put Tia's hand under the cold water straight away? For a scald like this, it's the best thing to do. OK, your hand might sting a little bit, Tia, but Nurse Hendry's going to put some cream on it, all right? Well, maybe you need to make the hot water a little bit cooler when you get home, all right? Look, I'll see you later. OK, thanks, Dr Juno. Bye-bye. That's another hazard to add to our chart. I think it's going to be a very busy day today, so I'd better get on with some hard work. It's so exciting in the hospital It's where the people who are ill get well Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights right up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take Dr. Juno, 
spoke too soon. Yes, Nurse Hendry. Sure. Mickey John's in the examination room with one of his pupils. Oh dear, what's happened? Ah, Dr. Juno, this is Sean. He had an asthma attack in class, worse than ever before. Oh, I see. Let's have a look. And did you follow the normal procedures for an asthma attack? Oh, yes. I sat him down with his hands on his knees to relax and keep calm. And uh, he used his inhaler a couple of times. Oh, great. That was just the right thing to do. But you were still feeling poorly, were you, Sean? Oh, but you seem OK now. Nurse Henry here will look after you and make sure you're fine, all right? And I will see you later. Oh, um, I, I hope I wasn't being an old fast pot bringing him into the hospital. Oh, not at all, Mickey John. You did absolutely the right thing. You can never be too careful. All oh, right, good. I'd hate to be an old fuss pot. <laughs> so, uh, did I really do the right thing? Yes, you did. Now, I've got to get back to my office. I've got some paperwork to catch up on. I hope my waggy friend's having a good time. Hello, Sam. Oh, I'm sorry to make a fuss. I was just wondering if you could take a look at Samson. You see, he started coughing today and we were painting pebbles and oh, I'm all worried he might have swallowed one. Oh, that's no problems at all. We'll take him through and give him a good check over and make sure he's okay. Oh, don't worry, Samson. It'll just be like Dr. Juno taking a look at mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Come on, Samson, let's go through. Come on, Angels. <laughs> Uh, just to let you know, I've given Sean a check over and his asthma seems fine now. Oh, great! Let's go give him the good news. Mm. Hello, Sean. Oh, you're looking much better now. You can go back to school. And if ever you're feeling poorly, just use your inhaler. All right? Are you sure about that, Dr Juno? About Sean going back to school, I mean? Oh, of course you're sure. You're the doctor. I'm sorry. I'm just a bit upset. Oh. You see, I'm not making a fuss, am I? I'm sorry if I am. I hate making a fuss. It's just I want to be sure I did the right thing. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. This is all my fault. Um, oh, my goodness. What's going on? Oh. I've been looking after my patients all day. Sean's ready to go back to school, but Mickey John is the complete flap. What can I do? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's. The children were painting lovely pebble pets. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Nurse Henry showed me a chart about hazards in the home. I spotted lots of dangers in the kitchen, even the dog bowl that you might trip over. At 10 o'clock, I examined a little girl who'd burnt her hand. Her mum was worried that she was making a fuss about nothing, but I soon told her she'd done the right thing. At 12 o'clock, Mickey John arrived in the examination room with Sean. Sean had had an asthma attack. At 1 o'clock, it was time for Sean to go back to school. His asthma had gone and he was fine. But Mickey John was very upset. He thought he was making a fuss and that it was all his fault. He's in a real flap. What can I do about it? Now remember, other people's upsets can upset you too. Other people's upsets can upset you too. <gasps> of course! I've got to calm Mickey John down. He's all worried and upset from looking after Sean. Mickey John thought he was being a real fuss bot. So I've got to make a real fuss over him. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. Before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a show to your friends She will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm working for I'm gonna do it She's going to do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it She's going to start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm gonna be there Are you feeling much better now, Mickey John? Much better, thanks. I'm just sorry I made such a fuss earlier. You see, I... Oh, don't start that one again. You are not making a fuss, OK? OK. Good. See, other people's upset can upset you too. Let's go and see how Sean's doing. Ah, <laughs> uh, we were just spotting some hazards in the home. Oh, that looks good. I'll do it with you, Sean. <laughs> Patient and teacher seem to be doing fine. Yeah. 
there they are. <laughs> well, I hope my furry friend's fine too. I wonder what he's up to right now. He's fine. Young dogs often swallow things they shouldn't do, but he hasn't swallowed a pebble. He's fine. And what about his coughing? Oh, it's just a bit of a tickle in the back of his throat, but he'll be fine. Oh, well, that's great news, isn't it, my darlings? Dr Juno will be pleased. Come on, you. Let's get you home. Dr Juno will be coming to pick him up. Come away in. Samson, look who's here. Hey, good boy. Did you have a nice time with Granny Murray? Oh. Samson wants to say thank you. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Other people's upsets can upset you too. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now. You'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wigging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing. was really special about today. Well, Claude was dressed ready for the beach because the children and I painted patterns on pebbles to make perfect pebble pets. Dr Juno warned me about the dangers of letting children swallow small things. Later, Samson started coughing. <gasps> I got upset because I thought he might have swallowed a pebble. So we took Samson to the vets. I hoped I wasn't making a fuss but the vet decided to give Samson an examination. The vet said Samson was fine, he hadn't swallowed a pebble and his cough was just a tickle in his throat so we could all stop being upset by other people's upsets and calm down. At the hospital, Dr Juno calmed Mickey John down too when she realised he had been upset by other people's upsets. I'll give you your tea in a minute. <laughs> It's much easier looking after my pebble pet. I never have to get upset. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Get ad-free episodes on the Wiz app. I love you.